I can see something, I can see something. Yeah. Best time for the history of magic. Alright, so let me show you lot something real quick, yeah. As you can see, we got two stuff to do, yeah. The assignment, I wanna try to get their spelly armor spell. So I gotta dodge and roll away from six attacks. I mean four attacks. And then we'll get their spe spelly armor spell. Can't wait for that man. That's like my favorite spell. Sp yes! <laughs> Take their wonder away and that. But right now we're gonna go to the class, herbology class, and uh, yeah, man, let's let's do this, man. You feel me? Let's do this, man. How nice to see you, my young friend. Yes, ma'am. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. I mean, shit, everybody already met me. You know what I'm saying? We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. I'm gonna have to take them glasses off, man. I look, I look too good, I have to take them off, Today, man. Today, we will be acquainting to. ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? Akio. Ooh. First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Oh, these are the plants that scream, yeah. I remember now, this. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. It's gonna go. Ah! Watch, 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 watch. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. When the glass shattered, yeah, I thought to myself, Every class, like the glass must break now, or something. Next but I've got the we'll repair or spell. Oh my days. Tables. Silly you can man. all get started. I need to have a brief word. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Revelio. I'm clicking everything in there. Hold on. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You no, visited then. the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. 
It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. The leaves of this medicinal herb are used for Wiganweld potions. Dittany seeds can be purchased as a magic meat and can be grown in pots of any size. Ready in nine minutes, no way. That's what I do with. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Yeah, he's Excuse me. Dick, I ain't gonna lie. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. All right, let me just collect them real quick. Show me. Ah, oh, L1, yeah? So what's this then? Invisible potion. Wow, okay. Look at that! That chomp on anything they can get their mouths on! <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save oh. her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, Whoa. aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that'd have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Yo, them plants are dangerous, boy. I ain't gonna lie. I was imagining it already. Yeah, yeah, same. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and death cap has more of them, if you're keen. <laughs> Other plants too. Ones your He's parents would plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Oh, shit. That scared me low-key. Alright, them planting things, they're, they're a bit dangerous, boy. Return to Professor Garlic. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As am I. Plants offer so much. 
Yeah, I don't really care for plants too tough, man. I'll be real. Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I believe she's right, you know. I feel like there's going to be like a big reward for it during the gameplay, you know what I mean? Like, Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Uh, new quest, new quest, let's see. Potions class, say no more. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black. What's down there? The Chipman. Revelio. Oh, okay. Level one lock. Do I unlock these, man? I think that will come soon, man. Surely, man. Potions class, let's go, baby. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. I like his character, you know. I like it. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay, I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. Hold on, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Let me see if he fucks mm. with me. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Yeah, these plants, man. These plants are gonna be serious. My it? parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yeah, come on, man. Why do you ask that? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. I like Pleasure Weasley. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. 
keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll back him. I'll feather. back him. As long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion stations organized. Revelio. I left a feather. <laughs> Your potion should not be that colour, Miss McDowell. Where's the, where, where's the boss? Here's the whopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I, 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 make sure you give me some of that as well, though, yeah? Good talk. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Alright, so we know about the Wigan World potion. Gives us health. The Endorse potion. That enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rock skin. So it's like armor, basically. Alright, alright, okay. Right. Okay, so 24 seconds. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Yeah, you fucked up over there, man. Look, look, look. Now we're gonna get in trouble, man. Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I mean, shit, man. I don't. I don't really need to go up to him and say, "Look, I've done it, sir." I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm oh. surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help ah. a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say, You've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. Honestly, the rare the best and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Okay, up to you. Oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. I feel you on that, man. I can't lie. Greet 
Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost bow for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Stirred clockwise. Handy I'm all about I'm on the route right now. Field guide. I've well, firstly, you take these glasses off, man. I got a bit too excited, man. Look at my new robe, man. Look at my new robe, you know. Serious. <laughs> hey, cool trick, man, cool trick. Rebellion. I accidentally dropped a flobber worm down. Incendio. You think I'd get hit with Tarantalegra the way I was trying to think. There you go. Ollivander, the one Donny. Yeah. Bad luck, man. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Yeah, I've got you, man. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom Applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. So Jackdaw is a serious brother. Why don't you continue searching? Why that wand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. I respect that, I respect that. I'll have a look for you. You certainly give me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old one maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. I mean shit, the reward I, I I don't mind that I don't mind that one that, you know, Voldemort gets and you know, I know you got that somewhere in here and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like don't mind some of that, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's investigate. Let me see how far he is though, man. Look, oh my days, he's quay out. And Big Dog, you're still out here. With that nice suit, man. I like it. Wish I had your skill. I'm like a drowned billy wig at cross ones, I am. What do you have in store for me this time? Incendio. Incendio. Fire, man. Oh, she's 
some bad guys over there. Some bad guys over there. We gotta do with these motherfuckers, man. Let me, uh, you know what I want to do? You know what I want to do? Where is it? Where is the invisible one? This one? Let me see something. What of a little bastard scratch me? I'll let him live just long enough to regret it. This been eight. <laughs> I swear, none of you'd have a head left on your shoulders if you didn't have me keeping you in check. Come here, corrupt my protector! Oh, he's got me, he's got me, he's got me. Oh, it's actually quite beautiful. Remember, six rolls, yeah? You're a slip. That was a stiff one. Yeah, I'm here, pussy. Right here for you.
Revelio. How do I collect it though? Uh... Oh my days. Oh, look at these things, man. How do I collect them though? Maybe later, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm definitely gonna be, as soon as I get the broomstick, I'm definitely gonna be exploring, are you crazy? So I gotta investigate the owlery, yeah? And I just realized, the owlery is where all the owls are kept, in it? I just realized that right now. Here we are, here we go. The statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. I thought it was gonna be like, like, Bare hours in like, like, not cages, but in like cylinders, you know, like cylinders all around. I thought it was going to be like that. And we'll see though, we'll see when we get to the top. What's going to look like. Yeah, like this. I would be so scared to go up here, man. I've seen an owl in real life, like a wild owl in real life before as well. And I was with my friend and I said, I said, yo, bro, bro, is that an owl up there? And I said to him, no, we got to go, man. We got to go, like. Don't mind me, owls. I'm just it here gave to me help some a friend. shivers, man. I ain't gonna lie. Now, where are those statues? They look scary for real. Revelio. I recognise those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Let me climb, let me climb up there if I can. <laughs> Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. Uh. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. The summoning charm, yeah? I'd best keep looking. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. Revelio. Oh, that Revelio spell, man. It's, oh, I love it. I love it, man. Here's a mark of surprise. statues here. Revelio. What's happening? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. I was alive. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. 
Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Founded on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such a. So you want me to follow that map and yes. I'm gonna go to my doom too then, yeah? Why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. How did you lose your head? Why did you take the wand? Yeah. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was. So I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. Uh, listen, I bet it wasn't worth it, was it? I bet it wasn't worth it. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, lightheaded. That's all I yeah, remember. Yeah, know. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Revelio. Uh, let me fast travel over there. I need to learn the disarming charm before I can follow. Ah, oh, the um, Expelliarmus, obviously. How can I forget, man? I'm silly with it, man. Professor. I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House, like you. Yeah. Why do you ask? That's how I you was know. curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. Surmised, I, I like that one. I dare say more than the staircases change around surmised. here. Surmised. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although. We got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized Phineas that Black. you and Professor Black were uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. How do you mean by that? Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You yeah, have. Defo, defo. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside I of mean, the castle. You're not going to try and teach me the. What? Surely you could teach me now. Surely you could teach me now, please. Yes. Oh, 
this game is too good. Surely she's gonna teach me I how. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might Facts. encounter. Facts, by the way. Spell yeah. casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Okay. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> we meet again. Expelliarmus. It's a stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Yeah, I'm sure about that. Excellent defensive. Still at it, I see. Oh. Forbidden Forest. I see a bad guy over there. That's not a bad guy. What's the deal? What's all over here though? Spider, spider. There's a spider over here. Oh my goodness. Forget that. Yo, forget that. I heard something. You, you're the most shot that saved Treadwell. Admirable. Stupid mind. Oh 
mal. Damn. Hang on a second. Whoa. All right. Shit, man. Yo. Lumos. I'm dilly dallying right now, even though I shouldn't. Revelio. I want to see what's good over here. Lumos. I ain't even gonna mess with that, I'll be real. Around here can seem a bit easier now. Sure, there's more over here though. I've got time for you now. Yeah, they must have just cut. I know if I come across them spiders yet, yeah, they're gonna clap me for real. As good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in Greek. school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. You can hear all the sounds, boy. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek. Hmm. I'd use Latin, my brother. Revelio. Yo, look at that. What's that? The spiders over that way, so you know, <laughs> I ain't going that way. Nothing to do now but keep going. Lumos. Rebellion. You know, I'm going to clock them. Thing. Admiral. Stupid drink. Huh? Expelliarmus. Accio. 
I said over there, danger. You see that sign there? Wow. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Talk for the man then. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Revelio. Nah, I swear I just saw something over there. Describe Intramuros. Revelio. Huh? Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. <laughs> Shut your mouth, pussy. See where Jack Doris led me. Yo, the man them try to ambush me for real. What are you up to now? Wait, who's that? You said that. Rebellion. Wait, who said that? Show yourself. Must be going crazy to Ross. Find the missing pages. How big this place is. This place looks massive, man. Right outside the nautilus. Revelio. This looks like a bit you could just fight in. Look, if I get ambushed, that's long. Man. They lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. 
Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Oh, Rebellion. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Yes, I know it's spell, but I don't want to deal with the spiders, though. Uh... Instantly. Or more to be able to float straight to me. Let me not dilly dally, man. Man's got no health left. It will be GG for me. Of this, so can I. Oh man. I knew there was one here. Spiders, man. Um. It's a good thing Jack Door didn't fall down there. Oh! 
Untouched chest. Teratol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Fuck, I'm going this way. Uh. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what the hell is with the jank. Keep two enemies airborne. Wait, keep two defeat an enemy with a tiny cooking habit. Oh, I forgot about them. Eat him up, cabbage. Spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Flipping hell, bruh. Yo, I'm surprised I didn't die, you know. Yo, hey, spiders. Uh, I can't. Don't give me some help, but I leave, man. Look around for the symbol. The symbol is like down here. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. So you got one symbol there, one symbol there, one symbol there. I see a whole giant back right there. Look, 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 I see a whole giant back there. Look at that. Look at that giant back there. I can survive this. 
If I survive this, must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains oh, and three. those pages. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's GG's for me. But let's go, man. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Oh, shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. If I can leg it, I can leg it. Mm. Is there something beyond this room? Magic, you know, the gas. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. What? So why can't I move then? How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? No way. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Yeah, because look, we'll fuel to the brim, man. What is this place? This looks like a boss battle scene, man.
can it be? Nah. Yo. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability oh, yeah. to see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Yeah, Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. This game. Revelio. I do want to explore this bit, but I'm just trying to get out of here ASAP, man. Those spiders freak me out. Those spiders really F with me, man, for real. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? You can't imagine. Revelio. I knew that was like in a <laughs> cheeky. Can't even open that yet, man. What the fuck? I'm back at Hogwarts. No way. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Man's at Hogwarts, you know. Man's at Hogwarts, you know. You need to Rebellion. learn the banishing charm. Useful for objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. It was an accident. Ah, uh, Professor Sharp, I'll get that done. Hey, sir. No, yeah. Four more of those pages and I'm good, boy. Yo, I'm really back in school for real. Wow. 